on this marvelous day every day is a marvelous day because it's a day that the lord has made so we must rejoice so welcome to it. this youtube channel i hope you all are having such a blessed um month um i've been kind of off of um youtube for some time and um i think i'm just still trying to get used to um being a homeschool mother so i'm so sorry that i haven't been up here weekly but um i just wanted to come on real quick because of homeschool um i decided to have a spirit week so i'm going to show you y'all what our kids did for spirit week okay so um i just think it's so funny how um you know if kids are home like it doesn't have to be boring you know what i mean um they still have they still had their spirit week and so today um to conclude our spirit week we decided to um have an all saints day party even though um all saints is going to be on the first of which is on sunday so um i went to the dollar store and i got a bunch of stuff and we are um, doing a themed um, party. So I will show you all what I did. And also, um, I was so amazed, amazed that Dollar Tree had containers that I could use to put all of these candies in and set them up in a way where it looks so nice and it's so cheap. So. I'm gonna show you all what I did and I will also show you what my kids dressed up as for All Saints Day. And they're gonna be wearing their costumes for the next like three days. Um, we Are have- Are supposed to wear them today? Yes. Oh. So um, they're gonna wear them today. They're gonna wear them Saturdays and Sunday. So um, they're really gonna be using their costumes. And um, as I show you all the costumes that I made them, um, I'm gonna, tell you what I did with them because it was also super easy I did not use uh, the sewing machine because I did that last year and I was uh. so this year my best friend was a glue gun so I will show you all what I did to their costumes so I wanted to show you what we did um, with the cupcakes we just bought some cupcakes from the store and we took off the little rings that it had on top and we ended up placing the images of the saints on the cupcake so I'm gonna Turn the camera around so you can see what we did. Okay, so this is my niece, and she dressed up as, who did you dress up as? St. Clair with Cece. Okay. Cut her hair. She cut her hair? Somebody cut her hair. And then what happened? Uh, that's all I know. Okay. So her dad made this costume for her, and um, she, he did such a good job. I'm so proud of my brother-in-law that he did this for his child. But um, she's she hasn't taken off her costume. She's had it on this whole time that she's been at my house. But I just think it's so cute. So just wanted to show you all my little niece. Okay, so this is my daughter. And she wanted to um, dress up as St. Veronica. So um, actually, when she took off her veil, wiped Jesus' face. Let's see. Is that Jesus? And so... We um, printed this image on this little cloth. Very faint, but okay, you can see it. But she's Saint Veronica. Okay, so this is my my son, and he wanted to dress up like Saint Nicholas. And so, um, like I said, a lot of the costumes that I did, I just the hot glue became my um, best friend. But I um, bought ribbon and I just hot glued the ribbon onto this um, velvety material. And um, same here, I didn't sew nothing. I just put this in here and that was pretty much it. And then his hat, I made it out of cardboard, but I think I overdid the height of it. But hey, he's, he's a bishop, so it's all right. And then he had a, a, the little staff and stuff, but we just got a stick and um, it completed his outfit. So he is Saint Nicholas. Oh, I'm Saint Sammy of softball, so you know we got the we got the green shirt, got it made, you know. We got the Crocs, you know. She wore them, and then we got the socks, and then we got the sweats, you know. 
So you're just, you're dressed as yourself, right? So because your goal is to be a saint. All right, nice. So this is my daughter and um, this was my dress. And I ended up cutting a lot of the dress off. Um, I had cut the sleeves too because they were too long and I hot glued them to the top of the um to the top of the shoulder and so then i that same material that i had put on my son's like the cape um i made a heart out of um, that material and i hot glued it and put um material inside the heart so it could be puffy and then i just put like a little bit of the rays around it and i forgot about the roses but i you know well, whatever i had i made it work and then her little um, belt that goes around her waist, and the little flame on the top. Mama, I see the secret heart. The uh, secret heart saw, and the thing. You saw the immaculate heart of Mary? Yeah, right there. Yes. See that? And so she really wanted to be the immaculate heart of Mary, and so um, and then that veil on top of her head is actually what I cut from the bottom, so it just it goes really well. Really happy with the outcome. Okay, so my son really wanted to be Saint Isaac of Jogius. I don't even know if I'm Jogis. saying that right, but it's J O G U U S. No, so Jogus, okay. And so um, he was a missionary, and he was martyred. Um, I think by Indians. He was martyred by Indians. I think there were the Mohawk Indians. I need to go back and check that. But um, he uh, received two blows on his head, and that caused him to die. But um, he has a very interesting story. And um, Isaac, do you want to know, or do you want to share what you know about St. Isaac? Uh, yeah. What do you know about St. Isaac? That he was a, a saint and that he got beat up and his fingers got bent off. His fingers got bent off. That's by Indians. By the Indians, right? Yeah. And they wanted him to bit off his own thumb. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And my fingers are gone. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways it, um i found this saint very interesting myself because i hadn't researched you know the, you know your main saints but um so um this is the setup we have so far and like i had mentioned we got these at the dollar store dollar tree and aren't these the cutest little containers you don't have to do nothing else to them they have like a little stand on them already and we also got this one it's pretty big mm. and so this is how we are setting up i know that we're probably going to rearrange this as we go but like i said i have a lot of those little saints and then we have <laughs> there's one saint and we have um it says happy all saints day and then that's my little my little baby um saint nick <laughs> and so and we have saint veronica right um but yeah so this is what we have so far and we're going to keep decorating um, so we can get going with the games. But um, I'm going to leave the link. I'm going to leave the link below um, of where I got these little images. Um, so that way you can all check out this wonderful. I think it cost me like five bucks on Etsy or it was six bucks or something like that on Etsy. But I can't remember what the what the um, store was called. But I think they have such awesome um images they have um she does? just all kinds of things on there that's pretty cool for parties and stuff so and i think they even have like valentine's things if you like to get things sooner than that but they're already trying to dig in but <laughs> have done this without jesus mm -hmm. amen So, um, our saints are ready to go and have their feast on this very special day. We have our Saint Nicholas, uh, Immaculate Heart, Saint Veronica, um, Saint Cecilia, Ooh. right? Saint Clair. Saint Clair. <laughs> and Saint Isaac, and we have Saint Jacob. And Saint, apply something. He was supposed to be another one sorry okay so um we're just gonna wait for one more person and then we are Saint going Samuel. to start oh yeah that's right and then we have say <laughs> so, it's so fun i love this and me 
have so, games. We have games. Yes. Games. So the reason that they're wearing crowns is because um, what the goal in life is to become saints and to be crowned when we reach heaven. So um, that's like the purpose behind it. So get it in the cup. Get it in the cup. No, Sophie. Good job, Meg. Meg.